All right, this is the blood pressure management self massage. We're going to go over this today. The first thing we're going to teach is to find a point on the top of your head. So if you took your thumbs and you find the tips of your ears, then you mate your middle finger is at the center, at the top of your head, almost as if if somebody were going to pull a string through your body, straightening you all the way up, that highest point where the string would come out, this is um, the highest point on the body. And you'll feel a little divot right at the top of your head. This is the first point we're going to massage, and we're going to do nice counterclockwise little acupressure circles on the top of the head. And if you were to look on our friend here, directly up from the tips of the ears to the very top of the head. Okay, so around that point, there's a point to the front, back, side, and side. And to, instead of teaching you to find those specifically, what we'll show you to do is to take your palm, put your palm on that top point on top of your head, and massage around in a circle. Again, counterclockwise. But you're going to massage around almost like this so that you're making sure to make contact with all of those points on the top of the head. All right, so that's step one, 30 times pushing our point on top of the head, then 30 times with that palm rotation. The next point we're uh, going to find is on the ear, okay? So we have an ear demo here, and what you can do, we're going to actually be pulling on the ear. So you're going to do an ear pulling motion like this, but when you pull, I want you to focus your thumb on this line here, on the back of the ear. So when you're pulling on the earlobe, you're going to apply pressure to this line. Very important and influential in blood pressure cases, okay? So again, 30 times on the ear, focusing on that specific line I just showed you on the back of the ear. So that's one, that's two, three, and so on up to 30. The next step is we're going to do a walnut general hand massage. So you can ask your practitioner. We have walnuts at the clinic from Dr. Lou's Monastery. And what you do is to squeeze these walnuts, rotating them around in the hand because there's some very potent points in the hands that have to do with blood pressure. For more on these, check out our walnut video. But again, during for the purposes of this massage, we're just gonna do a general hand massage with the walnuts. You can squeeze them about 30 times, making sure to change location in the hand so you stimulate as many points as possible. The next step is going to be a massage of three points at the base of the fingernail. And what you're going to do, you can either use the tip of your walnut or an acupressure tool and massage these three points 30 times each on the left. 30 times each on the right. Okay? The next movement is going to be a clasp of the wrist. So what you do is bring your thumb and middle finger together around the wrist, turning, applying friction on the wrist, and activating several acupuncture points that lie on that wrist crease. So 30 twists here, 30 twists on the other side. The last step is actually a foot massage. There's a special blood pressure related point for more information about reflexology or foot massage, what you can do is go to our YouTube channel and click the reflexology link. But for now, I'm going to show you a specific point that's related to blood pressure located right here. So you're going to apply your reflexology technique on the bottom of the big toe on both sides right in this area. Again, do it until the area is nice and pink, and then you'll go on the other side. Having done that, you have completed our blood pressure self-massage. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask your practitioner at your next appointment.